The remains of an unidentified child were found in Texas a year ago. A composite of the child was released yesterday by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. While she was found in Texas, a pollen analysis completed on the remains suggests she was found from the southwest U.S. or Mexico. It's even more likely that she was from southeast Arizona. One Tucson grandmother reached out to News 4 Tucson saying the composite resembles her granddaughter. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo checked it out. It's a story you'll see only on 4. It was here in this pasture in Madisonville, Texas, where the remains of a little girl were found. She was stuffed in this black suitcase wearing this pink shirt. Connie Lopez saw the story on News 4 Tucson and chills went down her spine when she saw the shirt. My granddaughter had one as well. Then she saw the composite. Looks of the child resembled my granddaughter. These are pictures of the granddaughter and for legal reasons, we're not able to show them to you, but I've seen them and I've compared them to the composite and there is a resemblance. The last time Lopez saw her granddaughter was in 2015. The remains were found a year later. The age of the child found between two and six. Her granddaughter, born in 2009, would have been seven. The child was taken by Department of Child Services from the mother, and the rights were severed, leaving Lopez with no information on the child's whereabouts. And to hear something like this, more emotional and disturbing to me. She claims she called the Center for Missing and Exploited Children four times with no avail. And all I wanted to know was ask to see if it could be. And they told me no. But they, wouldn't, they couldn't assist me. That right there just totally broke my heart. She wouldn't give up and called a fifth time while we were there. And someone finally took down her information, including whether the granddaughter had a feeding tube. She was not eating at the time. She did have some issues with her stomach. So for now, all Lopez can do is wait and pray. Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.